Welcome to the video tutorial for the Joomla Ecstasy Administrator Lock. If you use Joomla or just about any other CMS, you already know that if it's an open source CMS, it can be pretty hackable because it's open source and hackers can find out what's going on, especially when security updates happen. If you don't keep your website up to date with the latest security measures, then what's going to happen is a hacker is going to go and see that, say, Joomla has an issue with this being not secure in version 3.1. So they go ahead and they update it for 3.2, but it's clearly right there for any hacker to go ahead and find the vulnerability in your site. So there's a lot of programs out there, firewalls and such for Joomla, a lot of good components that can help you out with that and can keep your site locked down. But what this little plugin does is it basically eliminates people getting to the administration screen. And that can come in real handy, especially with bots and stuff that are automatically just trying to hack out your administrator page. So right now you're looking at a clean install of Joomla 3 with the sample blog content. So now let's go ahead and let's try to go to our administrator here, like uh, you would normally do in Joomla. And as you see, you don't get anywhere. It's the home page. So the way the administrator lock works is you put in a secret keyword and you add it on to the administrator. So you actually have another level of security. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in my keyword here to go to the administrator. And you'll see that the keyword is Joomla Ecstasy is the best ever forever. And now I'm going to hit enter and and now that we're on the administration page, I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you the back end of it. Now we're in the back end of our Joomla installation, so let's go over here to the extension manager. And let's go to the plugin manager and administrator lock. You've got your keyword here, which you just enter your keyword, and that's how you get in. Now what's even better here is you can go ahead and let's say that you have a website and let's say that you're paying some freelancers to do some things for you or you've got a support staff and let's say that you're using virtue mart or some shopping cart but you don't want them to be able to get to your shopping cart because you really don't want them to see your sales numbers or whatever you don't want them to see what you can do is you can right here in this area you can enter one or more component permission groups using the following syntax the user id so there's your user equals component you know, so you can go ahead and let people see and restrict component views from the back end. And like I said before, this is really great when you know you're actually letting people get administrator access to your site if they're not actually a company member. So as you see, that's a very simple and easy way to lock down your site and restrict permission access.